Hello and welcome to Demeter. This is a brand new mixed reality game coming out on Quest 3 today and I'm so excited to be able to show you a first look at this game and kind of like deciding how we feel about it as we go. This is a platformer in mixed reality using your environment in your home to be able to turn it into the game. Now mixed reality for me has become a huge thing recently so I'm super excited to be able to check this out and see what it's like. So let's dive into it. Before we do that though, you know the rules, smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff support the channel let's do this okay here we go whoa what the hell <laughs> okay oh my god you're about to crash into my lego my dude oh okay uh yep okay jesus okay stop smashing into it that's pretty terrible mate <laughs> this is awesome uh, yeah. My dude, you're like breaking up my house. Can you stop smashing up my house? That would be greatly appreciated. Why aren't you What? It's gone through the floor, so, you know. Oh, okay, this is cool. So this appeared like over there on my desk. I didn't want it to be there. So you can go into the accessibility options and actually move this around and place it where you want it to be. Which makes this way more viable for like most people's home. Very, very cool that they thought about stuff like that. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? <laughs> Boopity boop. That's dope. Okay, so movement options. Wow, plays just like any platformer. That's pretty freaking dope. Whoa. Okay, I just. I got into the world. That's insane. Wow, that's cool. So you can step into the world as well. Okay. Anyway, let's do this. You're in. Okay, so now we've landed at a new place. Right. What are we going to do about these gross plant things? I don't know. It's gross looking. Can I poke it? That makes me want to hit it. Don't you feel the same, pilot? Oh, I, I do feel the same. Nice. Let's hit that. This is actually like pretty freaking dope. It's taking me a second just to get used to the idea of a platformer that you're walking around like this. Um, it's way more freeing than a regular platformer that you'd normally have because a VR platformer normally, like you have the freedom to actually walk around and do what you want uh, around the room. Normally in a VR platformer, you're very stationary. It's very much presented in front of you and that is that. But with this, it's like, it's freeing in the sense it's gonna allow you to walk around and do your own thing because it is, Nice, thank you. Um, because of the fact that it is in mixed reality, you still have that freedom of moving around your room, which I think is pretty freaking fire. Whoosh, where are you gonna go now? Ooh, over there, okay, well we can work with that. So yeah, this is actually really damn cool. I'm actually pretty freaking impressed. Visually, this is gorgeous as well. Like it's really playing to the strengths of the quest. Wow, and then from her point of view is where you step into the game which is kind of crazy. So it just kind of helps me understand that I actually want to go this way. Uh, you can't move around once you're in here, but it just gives you an idea of like what she's up against and what she's trying to do. So let's uh, get along here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Janet. Jump in there and then go into this portal. Shoop. You love to see it. Damn, this is cool. I'm starting to like get the hang of this now. Um, and I love the way that this sort of, I love the way that this is. This is pretty freaking fire. So with this, it's kind of like annoying that it's in my chair. So I can just grab it, <laughs> freaking move it around, place it over here, which is way in my play space. And that's kind of cool. Uh, there is a few different options when you set this game up as well. You can also like scan your room and everything like that. Uh, I'm sure that if you weren't recording and I didn't want to be sort of forward facing over here, you could do what you wanted with it. But for me, I want to be able to look at the camera, of course, while I'm actually doing this. So it's pretty damn easy though to move these around. If you want to move it around quickly in a GIF, not a problem. And I'm not talking about another name for a GIF. No, no, no. Oh, that's a ship. How do you even Echo, get in that ship? Holy crap. Copy? No, 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 no. That's me being an echo. All right. I we should start by getting it back in shape, pilot. Yes, and yes, we should. It's a shame there's no occlusion for your hands, so. With a bit of luck, yeah. there are enough of them on this planet. Okay. Well, we should get going. We really should. 
We really should. Uh, this is very cool. I do wish it had like hand occlusion though, because it feels like it's the last thing that we really need for mixed reality to truly pop. Is like some freaking hand occlusion, man. There's also like a bunch of story that's going on here, and I do want you to understand that there is a bunch of story going on the whole time. But I, uh, I'm just skipping through that stuff. You guys can get into the story and enjoy it for yourselves as you get into it. But for me, I'm more interested in just understanding like how they want these kind of MR games to work and what's going to be the benefit of them. And right now, I'm just seeing like good positive things, man. This is actually pretty fire. I mean, yeah. It's just freaking dope because like I, I get it now, like what they wanted out of this. And I feel like they have nailed the concept of what a mixed reality platformer like this could be. Uh, and I'm very, very, very down for more of this kind of thing in the future. As long as they keep it with the way that they've been rolling with this so far. Like I feel like this is a very good proof of concept in the sense of like can, can mixed reality work for this type of thing? Absolutely yes. The coolest thing is mixed reality is in its infancy at the moment and we truly don't know what it's going to be capable of as we go through the use cases of it and as we sort of explore different ways that we can use mixed reality. And I feel like it's in that infancy stage like kind of how VR was for a long time and kind of still is to a degree. Well golly okay you know what uh, anyway that's pretty much going to do us I think for this video but while we're sort of like thinking about this and looking at how many different portal rooms we've got to go in like freaking Crash Bandicoot over here. Um, I do want to say my last like final thoughts on this. Like this is a new platformer type essentially, right? Mixed reality, all of those good things. What do I think of it? I think this works incredibly well, man. It works incredibly well. Is it enhanced by the mixed reality? Actually, yeah, this is massively enhanced by the mixed reality. I feel like this this is actually what VR platformers need. What's, what, are you, what are you showing me that for? Um, this is what VR platformers have needed to be able to kind of be as good as I think this has become. There you go. Boom. Apparently that mining robot was attacked. That's wow. weird. That's so weird. Where, where the hell did you go, Janet? Um, yeah, I feel like this is what VR platformers have needed. Is that full, almost like six doff VR platformer feel to it because we actually get that from this, you know, like we actually get the six doff of movement because we're kind of moving around it. We also have like the advantage of being able to like jump into the level if we want to as well, which is freaking cool. So if we do that, let's step in. You know, we also have this ability. I would actually like it if you could not only step into it, but kind of move around in it as well. That'd be kind of dope. What does that do? That unlocks that door quickly. So if I now shoot back up this way, should be good. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. If you're intrigued by what you've seen, you own a Quest 3, I feel like this is the time to start getting into the mixed reality side of things. I feel like it's going to only increase as we go through this. Uh, it's one of the things that the Quest 3 does the best. And, well, it's really the only commercial way to kind of get into the mixed reality space right now. And I feel like they are smashing this. If you enjoyed this, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this works? Do you think this is crap? Do you think it's good? And other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Smash like, subscribe. Peace out. Bye.